going on my 416 fam? We're back in Toronto from Arizona and I had a blast. For those who've been following me since day one knows that last year was the very first time I headed to Arizona to do a workshop at Spear Education. In this video, we're gonna have three parts. We're gonna talk about one, why I decided to study at Spear Education. Two, how workshops are organized at Spear. And three, we're gonna do a play-by-play -play or a day-by-day -day, uh, breakdown of the occlusion workshop I attended this year, or actually this past weekend in Arizona. So let's start off with where Spear Education is located. It's in Scottsdale, Arizona, and obviously I'm in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, and it takes about a four and a half hour flight to get from Toronto to Scottsdale. We fly in at the airport in Phoenix, and at the end of November, it's about, during the day, I would say about 20 degrees Celsius, and it could dip as low as five degrees. It almost feels like a perfect fall day. So where I stayed was at the Holiday Inn, right by the Spear Education facility. I would say it's about maybe less than a 10 minute walk away. If, it's, if you're driving, it's like two minutes or a minute. Uh, so it's really convenient. The place is really large, it's clean. And I guess I would highly recommend it since both the times that I've been there, I actually stayed at the Holiday Inn. So the facility itself at Spear is actually top notch and the customer service is excellent. They really make you feel like you're at a resort. Breakfast and lunch is provided each day and it's generally pretty good. One day we actually had barbecue for lunch and it's in November so it's pretty cold here in Toronto so, so actually have barbecue in November was actually pretty awesome. Uh, first night there was a social event where there was wine and beer provided. And uh, during the day, there's actually an unlimited supply of coffee and a fountain drink mach machine on like both floors. So if you ever get thirsty, you can help yourself. So they really, really make you feel welcome. So the two workshops that I've been to, facially generated treatment planning and the occlusion workshop were both well organized. And Spear Online has an abundance of information on it. Uh, I can't really speak for the seminar since I've never taken one, but I'm pretty sure they're really great as well. So number one, why I decided to study at Spear. I often get asked why I decided to study at Spear Education, and I've been really wanting to do it ever since my residency. I hear that it's top notch, and it definitely is, and it really makes you into a more well-rounded dentist. What I discovered early on in my dental career is you really don't know what you don't know. And I feel that Spear Education opens your eyes to reality and allows you to see things that oftentimes go unnoticed. I, I, when I talk to my colleagues, I like to use the analogy of that 1999 sci-fi movie, The Matrix. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill, the story ends, you wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Where Neo is confronted by Morpheus, and is offered either the blue pill and live in this sort of fantasy world or the red pill in order to escape the matrix and really understand reality. So Dr. Frank Spear, you are my Morpheus. On a serious note, there are a lot of really great programs out there. So you have to do your own research and figure out which one is right for you. Spear appears to be really great at emphasizing and treatment planning the biological, aesthetics, structural, and functional components uh, for each and every one of your patients so that they can have a great healthy smile for the rest of their life. So I started off my Spear journey last year by taking the facially generated treatment planning workshop. This was the workshop that was highly recommended to start off with. Obviously, as the name implies, it really emphasizes treatment planning. And like I talked about, it includes the structural, functional, biological, and aesthetic components to treatment planning. Uh, we are required to practice as well as take photos at uh, the facility. So that, you know, I was quite familiar with uh, doing that, but a lot of my colleagues, they were holding a camera for the first time, so it was great practice for them. I felt from an aesthetic standpoint, it was really similar to Digital Smile designed by Christian Coachman, which is also really, really great. Number two, how are the workshops organized? So unfortunately, I can't comment on any seminars since I haven't taken any seminars at Spear Education, but I've taken two workshops again. That's the Facially Generated Treatment Planning Workshop and the Occlusion Workshop this time. Once you get to Spear Education, you're greeted by the staff there and you're given a binder with all the lecture notes and a bunch of handouts. These are really great tools that you get to take home with you. 
how the workshop usually works is there's a morning component and an afternoon Half the day is spent in the lecture hall learning the didactic aspects of the, uh, of the treatment. And then the second half is actually either in an operatory or in a dental laboratory where you're applying what you learned in lecture earlier. The hands-on components of the workshops, you're usually broken down into groups of three. So it's really nice and convenient if you have two other friends that want to tag along with you and do a workshop since you'll be put together in the same group. Number three. Breakdown of the occlusion workshop. So the occlusion workshop takes what you planned in two dimensions in the facially generated treatment planning workshop and allows you to apply the occlusal concepts and principles three dimensionally on models on an articulator. The articulator of choice at Spear is the SAM articulator. So day one was a comprehensive review of the facially generated treatment planning workshop. There we went over occlusion in detail in the morning in lecture. And in the afternoon, we're, in, we're doing the workshop component or the hands-on component, working on our partners by doing extra oral examinations of the uh, joints and muscles, as well as a face blow registration in order to mount the models that we were required to bring of us from home to Arizona. The occlusion workshop, I believe if I remember correctly, was entirely in the lab. Here we discuss centric relation and different techniques and ways in order to establish a centric relation record. We were able to do bilateral manipulation, leaf gauge, and lucid jig records on each one of our patients. And this was an interesting opportunity because quite often you don't get a chance to do all these types of registrations on your patients. And also your partners were doing the same uh, eccentric relation records. So you were able to sort of compare and contrast uh, your, your accuracy and consistency with theirs, which is pretty cool. So after taking the registrations in the afternoon, we were required to make an anterior bite plane for ourselves. This is something we were able to take home with us and take back to the hotel. And we actually had an opportunity to sleep with it. And so the next morning we uh, were able to discuss uh, some of our findings with having an anterior bite plane that we made in our own mouth. And for the very last day, number three, we spent the morning in the dental lab where we did trial equilibrations on sample cases and even on our very own cases, which was pretty neat. We also did an orthodontic tooth setup. In the afternoon, we went over in the lecture hall different types of appliances that you can actually make for patients and their applications. So that wraps up three days in Arizona for the occlusion workshop. It was a really great time as always in Arizona. Uh, I even signed up for my next workshop in May 2019 for the Warren Dentition. If some of you see me there, definitely say hi. Uh, thank you so much for all your love and support. You're the reasons why I actually make these videos, so thank you. And if you have any questions about Spear Education, about my journey as a dentist, uh, comment below. I really hope that this information helps some of you on your journey. And as I always say, just really uh, be passionate about what you do. Uh, try to master and excel at your craft and be the best version of yourself. So till next time, everybody, peace out.